Cisco Umbrella, Threat Lens, Solar Winds, the Sunburst Backdoor. We're starting in Umbrella. And the first thing we see is an alert around Sunburst. We pivot into what we call a Threat Lens, and this is going to give us a perspective of these domain-based IOCs in our environment over a period of time. Now you can see I have nothing. I'm going to pivot into Talos to learn more about this particular campaign. And um, what's really good about Talos is not only does it talk about, you know, how things have happened and provide links to other coverage as well, but gives you an idea of, of what mitigating controls might be available to you. The other thing that's really good is that you get these IOCs. And so what we're focused on is these domain-based IOCs. And so what we're going to do is copy this into a text file and we're going to reference them by running a script. And the reason why I'm doing this is two things. One is I want to see that I have mitigating controls, right? This is a safe way of checking. Um, and the other thing too is um, I want to, in my case, see data in threat lens, like as if I was compromised. So I've got this script that I created that's going to do three things, right? It can do just a domain-based lookup using dig. It can, use, it can do an HTTP GET request using wget. Or it can do both at the same time. And then I automatically remove index.html if you are doing a um, wget. So let's run this script and we'll go ahead and do the domain-based lookup first. And that 146 address that we're looking at here actually means that the page is being blocked. So I know I've got a defensive capability in play. Now, running the wget, this first domain here, you can see resolved to an IP address that is accessible. That's that kill switch, right? That Microsoft went ahead and registered. And what that does is essentially make the campaign or malware or whatever uh, ineffective, right? It shuts it down. And uh, which is great and, and is allowed. So we've done the wget. We again see the IP address that we're familiar with around blocked page. Now we're going to run them both. And again, you only need to run maybe the domain lookup to see this data in umbrella. But I'm, I'm running uh, and creating a bunch of noise um, so we can see that within the console itself. Okay. So everything looks clean. We ran it. We see blocked page. Now what we're going to do is we're going to come into threat lens, make sure it's set to 24 hours, and let's see. And we can see 63 requests. And you can see it even captured the allowed domain, right? The kill switch domain. And if we pivot into that domain, we can see that it was allowed. That's an expected behavior. A really easy way to determine whether or not you've been compromised.